so today's video is a DIY shoes video for the springtime and I am super excited about this video I love making shoes now I found my new hobby for the quarantine but yes not only did I find my new hobby but I also have um, three new pairs of shoes to go in my shoe collection for the springtime making your own shoes is very simple and customizable and a lot funner than I thought if funner is even a word so I hope you guys like this video and let's get started so the first pair of shoes I have to show you guys are these super cute and simple sunflower ones so all you're gonna need is a simple pair of white tennis shoes I got mine from this discount store in my hometown but you can get them from pretty much anywhere like Walmart or Target or whatever so I learned that any good painting or drawing it starts out with a really great sketch so first i'm just going to sketch out my flowers onto my shoes and as i said i'm doing sunflowers so i just googled a youtube tutorial on how to draw a detailed sunflower and i wanted to keep it pretty simple so i ended up drawing like four on the front part and a couple on the sides So now that I am done sketching, it is now time to paint, and I'm just showing you the paint that I used. And yeah, I'm just basically taking the thinnest brush I have and using that yellow paint and just filling it in like so. So this is what it looks like after I finished filling it in with paint and now I just went back in with a pen and filled out the lines and added a little bit more detail. So now I just wanted to show you guys what one shoe looks like with the outline and what the other shoe looks like without the outline. And I prefer using the outline technique so that's what I did and this is how they turned out and I think they looked super adorable. So next I did this super cute pink cheetah print on these nurse shoes that I got from Walmart. And obviously you will need some nurse shoes or just plain white shoes. So first I'm just going ahead and putting pink spots all over the shoes and each spot is different and irregular from each other and this just helps to emulate the cheetah print more and better because cheetah fur obviously isn't all the same. So yeah, just make sure all your spots are different and sporadic. So next I'm just outlining the spots with a black sharpie and you want to also make sure each outline around the spots is different. So as you can see I'm kind of scribbling on the outlines instead of just drawing a straight line and this just makes it look more like fur a little bit. So yeah and also for each little outline there's a different pattern so as you can see there's like a half closed circle, a semicolon, and like a full circle so you just kind of want to place those sporadically around each spot. So when I was done, they looked like this, and I am absolutely in love with them. <laughs> the last pair of shoes are these super cool blue marble shoes. So all you're going to need are obviously some cheap white shoes, shaving cream, 
blue dye, a needle, a spatula of some sort, <laughs> and some gloves. So I realized these aren't the shoes I just showed you, but I realized that I like these a little bit better, so I just went with these style of shoe, and I am just simply taking some painter's tape and outlining the bottom of the shoe so that none of the dye gets on the bottom. So next you're going to need a container or bin that you don't really care about, and you're going to want to take your shaving cream and just spray half the can into the bin or container, and yeah, you might need to get two cans of shaving cream. I have to use two cans, but basically you want to fill the shaving cream up until like it's pretty thick and just like has a bunch of layers on top, and you want to smooth it out like this, and I'm not the best at smoothing out, but you get the point. <laughs> So now that your shaving cream is smooth and thick, you're now going to want to take your dye and gently pour it on top of the shaving cream and you want to be very careful because as you can see, I kind of spilled it a little bit on the side and you also want to make sure you have gloves. I still managed to get blue dye all over my hands even with wearing gloves. But yes, as you can see now you're just going to want to take your needle and swirl all the dye around in the cream until you get this beautiful marble pattern. So now you're just going to take your shoe and dip it into the shaving cream like this and you're going to want to take your spatula and kind of smooth out the dye onto the sides of the shoe where it couldn't really reach in there. Um, you can see what I'm doing. It's kind of like you're putting the dye onto the shoe with the cream. So after about 15 seconds you can just take out your shoe and simply just wipe off the cream with a napkin or paper towel and this project is really messy and I used like a whole roll of toilet paper to try and get this off and some of these blue paper towels but yeah as you can see it came out super cool and this is what it looked like so I also wanted to show you guys how you can do it with nail polish so you're just going to take two of your favorite nail polishes and a clear nail polish so you're going to want to take the clear nail polish and after you've filled up a little bit of your container with water, just pour some of the clear nail polish into the water. And next you're going to want to take a white nail polish or whatever nail polish you want and just pour that on top of the clear nail polish. And then whatever second color you had, also just pour that on top of the white nail polish. And now you're just going to want to like kind of poke it with the needle. And it like forms this like weird plastic stuff, but it's super cool. And the marble effect is really great. And you're just going to want to poke it through a little bit like this. And just kind of break it up into the design. So now you're going to want to take your shoe and just simply wrap the front in the design you just made like this and just kind of let the design like grab onto the shoe and I did it on the sides and this is what it looked like when it came out wet and I think this looks so cool like it looks like something from space or something I'm so impressed and I just let them dry overnight and this is how they looked the next day and I'm seriously so excited to wear these they're so pretty and I love them so I hope you guys enjoyed that video if you did give this video a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos and thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day bye